Hello, everybody. Welcome to the wonderful world of stocks. I'm here to share my secret ingredient, why I'm up in the stock market, inflating with half a million dollars. And my goal is to be a stock millionaire. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So we go with two big tools. And these are all free, by the way. Why? I have no idea. Okay, let's go to Finviz. That's a stock screener. We'll bring up the stock screener. And then under technical, you want to be 30% or more below the high. So in essence, we're getting a 30% discount on a stock. Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of all time, this is exactly what he looks at it. It's called margin of safety. So I put in our margin of safety at 30%. And then we go to descriptive. And we go over 20. And then let's let the fun, let's have fun with the game. So basically after that, then you have 306 companies that fit your criteria. And then I started by P, lower P is price earnings. It's just a benchmark. So yeah, quick glance, you can see if your company that you're looking at is overvalued or undervalued. We want to go PE and then sort of by lowest to high. We always want the, the best bang for our buck. So vital energy, VTLE. And we go right to the big charts, another free tool. Why? I have no idea. Okay. VTLE, vital energy, PE ratio, 1.4. They're in the... Your timing could not be better. I mean, you're four dollars, you're ten percent off, but it was sixty-two at one time. So we could get a forty-four dollar company for sixty-two bucks if everything adds up. And right away, you can see the market, the DIA, is outpaced the company, which is not good. You want it the other way around. You want the company to outpace the market. Because you're taking all the risk of the one company. And if it's not, yeah, see, this is no good. As much as I want to get in on it, I just don't see how it could be a profitable venture for us. Over six months, it looks somewhat good. But I think there's better companies out there, so I'm going to skip. So ESPO, Silver Bowl Resources, another energy company, same thing, six months, looks good, over time. We're right in the midpoint here of high to low, so our timing could have been a, a lot better. But that's fine. You know, we just put it on our list and it's something for us to keep track of um, if we're interested. You know, the market's always outpaced this company. So right away, I just don't like it. Yeah, I don't want to get involved, even if it is low PE. I'm not interested. We'll just go right down the list. UAN. So you can see we can get through a lot of companies very quickly. The yield is 30.7%. And this is not a joke. I mean, this is what the company will pay you. The trick is, will you get your money? Probably not. But a quick way we can research that is we can see how much money they have. If they have money to distribute at that rate, which... You don't think uh, it would hold for any length of time. It's it's not practical. So we'll just see what's going on. We have 301000 which is not enough to pay out at that rate. I mean, you might get a couple payments like that, but then the company will go under. 
bad things. <clears throat> Chances of you making out in that stock are very unlikely. JKS. JKS or five years is pressure market. That's what I like to see. Finally, a company that looks good. That's 800%. That's great. Um, so over the 10 year, you can see. So the first five years, they had problems. Now they have turned it around. And lately, they have a, they're under pacing the market. No problem with that. Um, I'm satisfied. You get 4.41 percent in solar that's kind of bad i mean solar is a hard niche to be in uh p 3.4 you're at the lower part of good so i will continue to in waste or <laughs> to invest my time that's what we're doing right investing our time so JKS here, see 2017, you're at 68%, $1.52, $3.79. For solar company, this isn't really that bad. I mean, this is not ideal. But in solar, like I said, it's a complicated niche. No one has figured it out. So yeah, you have some solid earnings here and very, or not pretty consistent. So this company, and then we can check the money situation. It's always good to have a surplus of cash. And they don't. See right there. Everything was looking good. I was going to put them on. And then, you you know, negative two, negative three, negative eight. Now, 18. Uh, yeah. Nah. See, I, and it's solar. So I already don't like it. So I was ready to put them on, but nope, it's a no-go for me. All right, let's see. Canadian solar. Let's see if the Canadians know what they're doing when it comes to solar. CSIQ. All right, let's go. Give me that money. Six months looks bad. We'll go off to the 10-year, and then we'll check five-year. 10-year, yeah. Again, for solar, not too bad. Your, your timing couldn't be better. The five years looks good. The P looks good. Okay. Well, let's check the earnings and the money and see if this is something we want to put on our list. Quarterly dollar thirty two sixty two three seventy three. I'm back here twenty seventeen one seventy one four hundred two two eighty eight. Pretty decent, especially for solar. Dollar thirty two thirty. Yeah, maybe they end up the year six inch, five, five fifty. Yeah, everything checks out there. I guess the last thing is just to see if they have money. They don't have a dividend, but that's good because solar companies really shouldn't have a dividend. They're just too much in research and development, and to pay out anything is just another dagger. Yeah, see, so. Hmm. They were doing good last year, and then all of a sudden, a trailing 12 months. <laughs> it's, it's another, I don't know. I just think there's better out there. For this. I don't like it. Okay, yeah, we'll finish this session with ALB. Maybe ALB can turn it around. Sometimes you have blank sessions that can happen, but... There we go. Five years, you're crushing the market. Okay, that's what I like to see. ALB could save the day. Come on. Yeah, that's that's good. Most of the time, you're above the market. 
So these are, if you do this by percentage, you're over half. So the likelihood of you bringing home money, as Kevin O'Leary says, have your soldiers go out, bring more soldiers back is what we're looking for. We don't like our soldiers to die in battle. And this is what, every time it goes below that line, your soldiers are being slaughtered. We don't want our soldiers to be slaughtered. Okay, so 112, 293. So you're in a better of good, 5.1. You get a little dividend here, which is good. We always like a little, little something to wet our beaks. Like to be fed. Wow, so that's what happened here. Interesting tale of the tape. So 49 cents becomes six to five, three. Not the most persistent or consistent company there. <laughs> But they have done something well there. Another rocks solid quarter to start out the year. And then it's still pretty solid. We don't need them to go 22 here. You know, they already done their work for the year and they got another quarter in. So as long as it stays positive, we're good on ALB. So congratulations, we'll add it to our list here. Oops, sorry guys. We'll add it to our list here. And if you don't have a spreadsheet set up like this, we can show you how. Just mark in the comments that you're interested in making money. So you can just type money and we can show you how to set up a spreadsheet that generates generates wealth automatically because we set this up because the you know when we do this finvids it's not like we're just gonna pull the trigger now everything would have to line up for us to do that and more than likely we'll put it on our list and we'll do some more research and then we'll think about it but you know our goal definitely is to make money so it's not like we're just gonna sit on these things too you know we we want to be smart about what we do. And I've been very good this year and going forward, I just get better at this. And we do little sessions like this to make sure that our uh, bucks go and, and get the best returns. Thank you for joining. Uh, ALB made the hit list and um, stay tuned for tomorrow's show and we'll run it back and see what we can hit up tomorrow. Have a great day. Goodbye.